Hello everyone, welcome to Kiredi Training Solutions and myself Mohan. We are at session 1 of logarithms. At this session we are going to discuss A to Z of logarithmic principle as well as problems related to it. You know logarithms is really important topic in many competitive exams and campus interviews. So you can expect questions from this topic in campus interviews as well as you know competitive exams like SSC or even if you are pra practicing for MAT or CAT, you can expect questions from this particular topic. But solving problems in logarithms is really really, really simple if you understand the properties clearly. Now I will try to explain the property right the basic property of logarithms. Now whenever you have a structure like this a power m equal to x you can write it as m into m equal to log of x to the base a you can you have to call it as x to the base a right. So here a should be a real positive number other than 1. So you have to keep this in your mind a should be a real positive number other than 1. Now, why we can write a power m equal to x is m equal to log of x to the base a. Now, I will explain it. Now, if you take log on both the sides, so if you have a power m equal to x, if you have a structure like a power m equal to x, you have to take log on both the sides. When you take log on both the sides, you get log into a power m equal to log into x. Now, whenever you have a structure like this, that is log of a power m, you can write it as m into log a. So this is our second principle m into log a equivalent to log x. Now I try to put this variable on one side and log on other side. So log x by log a. Now your third principle is whenever you get log x by log y you can write it as m equal to log of x to the base y x to the base y right. So this is your third principle. Now you can write this log x to x to the base y as m equal to 1 by log of y to the base x. I am writing here y to the base x. So this is your fourth principle. right? So totally we have discussed four principles now. Now uh, I will try to put all the properties in a single slide so that you will get a clear understanding about how exactly the properties work. So we discussed a power m equal to x can be written as m equal to log of x to the base a. Now log of a power m can be written as m into log a. So these are all the things we discussed in our previous slide. right? So log x by log a can be written as log x to the base a. Now log x to the base a can be written as 1 by log of a to the base x. And the next important property is log x into y to the base a can be written as log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. And log x by y to the base a can be written as log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. And next important property is log x to the base x value is equivalent to 1. And always log 1 value is equivalent to 0. So you have to keep this thing in your mind. So log 1 value is not 1, it is actually 0. And next you totally have two different properties. And uh, the first property is a power log x to the base a value is equivalent to x. Right? See the number value as well as the base value is equal, you have to write it as x. And next thing x power log y to the base a can be written as y into log x to the base a. Right. Now uh, last property is, now listen it carefully, log of x power p to the base a power q is equivalent to p by q log of x to the base a. So you have to keep these properties in your mind to solve any type of problems in lesser than 1 minute. Now moving to our first question. So on right hand side, I have included the properties of the particular problem. Now our first problem is log of 64 to the base 4. Right, so log of 64 to the base 4. Now log 64 can be written as 4 cube to the base 4. Right, now this one is in the format of log m a power m. Right, so whenever you don't have any value at the base, you can imagine it is 10. But this will not impact our answer, right. So this one is log a power m format. So if log a power m is given, you can write it as m into log a. So that is 3 into log 4 to the base 4. Now 3 into log x to the base x value is equal to 1. So 3 into 1, you get 3. So answer for this question is 3, right? So it's really simple. Now moving to question number 2. Our question number 2 is log of 1 by 512 to the base 8. So log 1 by 512 can be written as 1 by 8 cube. So 1 by 8 cube is equivalent to 1 by 8 power minus 3, right? So you can write it as log of 8 power minus 3 to the base you have 8. 
Now again this one is in the format of log a power m which is equivalent to m into log a. So minus 3 into log 8 to the base 8 you get 8 to the base 8 value as 1. So minus 3 into 1 the answer is minus 3. Right? Now moving to question number 3. Question number 3 is log of 256 to the base 8. Now how we can write this 256? You can write 256 as 2 power 8 to the base 8. Now uh, okay now you can write this 8 as 2 cube. You can write this 8 as 2 cube right. Now this one is in the format of our last property. So what is our last property? Log of x power p to the base a power q can be written as p by q into log x to the base a. Now instead of p you have 8 and instead of q you have 3 right into log of 2 to the base 2. Now what is log of 2 to the base 2? It is 1 right. So answer is 8 by 3. 8 by 3 into 1 you get 8 by 3. This becomes our answer. Now moving to question number 4. Okay, our question number 4 is find the value of log 360 degree. So this type of questions are quite popular in many comparative examinations. Now you have to find the value exactly. Now how we can find? So to solve this type of problems you have to keep certain values in your mind. You know the values are log 1. We know the log 1 value is always equivalent to 0 and log 2 value. So log 2 value is equivalent to 0 0.3010 and uh, log 3 value. So log 3 value is equivalent to 0 0.4771 and uh, log 10 value. So log 10 value is equivalent to 1 because at the base you don't have anything right. So log 10 to the base 10 value 1 but log 10 value is always equivalent to 1. Now next thing you have to factorize this 360 right. You know how to factor a number. We already discussed in LCM and HCF. So if you haven't watched that video, I have included the link in description. So you can write this 360 as, so you can easily factor this. So 360 can be written as uh, 9 into 40. So again this 9 can be factored as 3 square. And 40 is nothing but 8 into 5, right? So you can write it as 8 into 5. So what is the value of 8? It is 2 cube and into 5. Now you can write this 360 as uh, 2 cube into 3 square into 5, right? So you can write it as log of 2 cube into 3 square into 5. So this one is nothing but log of x into y to the base a format, right? So log of x into y to the base a format. Now log x into y into z. So log x into y into z means log x plus log y plus log z. So you can write it like that. Now uh, you can write this value as log 2 cube plus log 3 square plus log 5. Okay. Now log 2 cube can be written as 3 into you know log of a power m is m into log a. So 3 into log 2 value is 0 0.3010 plus log 3 square can be written as 2 into log 3 value you know it is 0 0.4771. Now what we can do for log 5? Now log 5 is nothing but, so now you can write uh, for log 5, log 10 by 2. So log 5 is nothing but log 10 by 2, two right, because you know the value of log 10 is 1 and value of log 2 is 0 0.3010. Now this one is in the format of log a by b. Now what is the value of log a by b? Log a minus log b. Now here you have to write it as log 10, okay I am writing here right, so log 10 minus log 2. So 3 into 3010 you get 0 0.9030 plus 2 into 0 0.4771 is nothing but 0 0.9542 plus log 10 value is 1 and log 2 value is 0 0.3010. Now when you solve it you get the value 2.5562. Now what is this 2.5562? This one is the value of log 360 degree. I mean log 360. This is really simple, right? So for this, you have to keep these values in your mind. Now moving to question number 4. Now question number 4 is log 1000 to the base 0 0.01. Now how we can write log 1000? Log 1000 can be written as 10 cube. Now you can write this 0 0.01 as 1 by 100. Now 1 by 100 is 1 by 10 square. So 1 by 10 square is equivalent to 10 power minus 2, right? Now you can write it as log of 10 cube 
to the base 10 power minus 2. Now this one in the format of our last property right so you can write it as p by q so 3 by minus 2 is minus 3 by 2 into log of 10 to the base 10 value is 1 so you can write it as minus 3 by 2 so this becomes our answer it's simple right now moving to next question okay your next question is log of log to the base 10 into 5 log to the base 10 i mean log 100 to the base 10 to the whole power 2 square now how we can solve now you can write this 100 as 10 square right so 5 into log of 10 square to the base 10 now this one is this format of log of a power m so log of a power m is m into log a now you can carry this 2 to front so 5 into 2 you get 10 so 10 into log 10 to the base 10 value is 1 so you don't need to worry about that now next thing log to the base 10 to the whole power 2 so again this one in the format of log of a power m so because the base is 10 only right so log of a power m so m is written as 2 into log of 10 to the base 10 see what is 10 to the base 10 you get 2 so answer for this question is 2 now moving to next question if log of log to the base 2 into log to the base 3 into log of x to the base 2 is equivalent to 1. So what we have to find? We have to find the value x because x value is unknown, right? So we have to find the value of x. So how we can find? So this problem is really, really simple because we are using the simple property log of x to the base a equal to m. So how we can reduce it? you can reduce it as a power m equal to x. Now, instead of x, you have log to the base 3 into log of x to the base 2. Now, instead of a, you have 2 here and instead of m, you have 1 here. So, a power m, it is 2 power 1, 2 equal to x. So, here x is log to the base 3 into log of x to the base 2. Right, so again this one in the format of log of x to the base a equal to m. Now instead of m you have 2 and instead of a you have 3. So a power m, so 3 power 2 you get 9 equal to log of x to the base 2. So again you got the same property, so log of x to the base a. So log of x to the base 2 equal to 9, instead of m you have 9. So it is 2 power 9 equal to x. Now you found the value of x equal to 2 power 9. So you can write 2 power 9 as 512. Now we can leave as it is. So value of x is found. So this becomes our answer. Now moving to next question. Log of 9 by 14 minus log of 15 by 16 plus log of 35 by 24. Now, if you closely observe the structure, this one is log A minus log B plus log C. Now, if you have log A plus log B plus log C, you can write it as log A into B. If you have log A by B, I mean log X minus Y, you can write it as log X by Y. Now, you have log A minus log B plus log C. Now, you can take log into 9 by 14. See, log A minus log B can be written as log A by B, right? So, log a by 15 by 16 can be written as 16 by 15 here. So, you are reciprocating it. So, log 9 by 14 divided by 16 by 15 can be written as into 16 by 15. Now, you have plus here. It means into 35 by 24. Now, you can easily cancel, right? So, in 8th table, 2 times. In 8th table, 3 times. Now, in 3rd table, 3 times. And this becomes 5 times. And in 7th table, so 2 into 7, 14 and 14. So 14, 14 cancel, you get log 1. So what is the value of log 1? So log 1 value is 0. So answer for this question is also 0. Right? Now moving to next question. So next question is log of x square plus x to the base 5 minus log of x plus 1 to the base 5 equivalent to 2. So if you need a break, then you can take a pass, work it by yourself, then continue the video. Right? So what we have to find? We have to find the value of x.
okay now how we can write so this one is again log x minus log y format so that is log x by y so log of x square plus x divided by x plus 1 to the base 5 equivalent to 2 so you, if you take x outside you will get log of x into x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 to the base 5 equal to 2 so x plus 1 x plus 1 cancel now you can write log x to the base 5 equal to 2 as phi square equal to x so phi square value is 25 so the answer for this question x value is 25 this becomes our answer now moving to ninth question 16 into log of 5 to the base 4 right okay actually it is not 16 so it is 16 power right so it is 16 power log of 5 to the base 4 so 16 power log of 5 to the base 4 so how we can write so 16 can be written as 4 square so 4 square to the power log of 5 to the base 4 now we can write it as 4 power log of 5 square so 5 square is 25 to the base 4 right so this one in the format of a power log of x to the base a so this one value is equivalent to x right so 4 power log of 25 to the base 4 value is equivalent to 25 so this is actually power right so 4 power log of 25 to the base 4 and the value is 25 right now moving to last question find the number of digits in 3 power 56 now if you solve this type of problem using calculators or you know computers answer cannot be found because you will get answers in exponents so how we can solve it so in logarithms it's really simple now if you take log for this you get log of 3 power 56 so which is log of a power m that is m into log a now what is log 3 value you know log 3 value is 0 0.4771 so 56 into 0 0.4771 you get 26.7176 now before decimal you call it as characteristic after decimal you call it as mantissa so to find the total number of digits you have to add one with this characteristic right so 26 plus 1 you get 27 so answer for this question that is the total number of digits in 3 power 56 is 27 digits right so it is really really simple now in upcoming session i try to add some more complex problem related to logarithms until that stay connected with KDD training solutions. If you have any doubt, please pause it in the comment section below. Like and share the video to your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.